Okay, I wanted to make a quick video about my new 1911 grips. They're G10 from Lock Grips. And these are made to fit exactly on these uh, Wilson Combat magazine wells. And this is the magwell that hooks over the hardware for your grip screws. It is not a one piece. Um, magwell that is attached to the mainspring housing. Okay, it's just a quick look. I'm going to insert a couple magazines so you can get an idea how the different size mags combined with base pads fit with this magwell. And these are from Lock Grips. Here is the middle form 10 rounder. It comes out just enough to get a good um, seat on your magazine. And it has this little base pad, I guess that's for to keep the magazine from over, -exert, over inserting and hitting that ejector. That's the middle form 10 rounder. This is the Springfield. Um, nine round magazine with the CMC products base. And if you do put a beveled magwell, see how easy that it goes in there? Um, your standard um, nine rounders, it's going to be a little bit more tough to get those to seat, although you can do it. And if you've noticed, um, I'm able to hit that mag release with that extreme cut without doing hardly any canting to the pistol. So uh, I really like these. I think they make the gun look very nice. It almost has that uh, TRP look, but I have way less into this gun than a TRP uh, would have cost me. And I picked this gray because um, I thought it would go good with that logo. And uh, these grips, I also ordered the slim grips because the factory grips are slim and I wanted to reuse the hardware. That's a pretty close color match. I actually like that gray better. See if I can get a better close-up. The texture on these is nice. It's almost um, the equivalent of a rough uh, sprinkle stipple job on a Glock frame. This is how these fit up. Everything was very precise with these grips. light overhang over the magwell but I'm very happy with these I think these were like uh, $46 after I used a promo code I forgot if I found it on the AR15.com or the 1911 form but uh, I'm pretty happy with this oh and the other thing that I did I blocked out that rear with a toothpick and some black fingernail polish and I changed out the fiber optic to red because the green was way too intense during the day. Alright, uh, that's pretty much all I've done. And uh, look forward to shooting this. Alright, have a good night.